was once an ocean millions of years ago is now the fertile land of Thessalia, home to what many consider to be a holy place. Over a millennium ago, Greek Orthodox Christian monks came here to these rock formations to build monasteries. They became known as the Meteora, full of art, history, and mysticism. The monasteries were built by hand in the 15th century. It wasn't until about the 1920s that roads were paved and steps were carved into the rocks. Hundreds of years ago, the Meteora served as a refuge for nearby villages and towns. The people of Castraki and Calabaca used baskets like this one to escape the Ottoman Turks. The monasteries protected the people, the Greek language, and especially saved the Byzantine art form in this holy place. Father Ioani, a man who devoted his life to God, was born blind, and as a young boy lost his left eye to cancer. But he believes a miracle gave him sight. And there I knelt down by the icon of the Virgin Mary, and I said, Virgin Mary, please let me see the light all the children can see, and I will worship you for my entire life. When I said these words, suddenly I felt a shocking sensation, like a lightning bolt, and I could see a little bit with my right eye. A promise he kept, and for the last 28 years has lived in this monastic community. Father Ioani can only see 10 feet ahead of each step he takes but he says he can feel the love of all the visitors. He believes you don't have to come to the Meteora to get closer to God. God is everywhere. When you have peace within your heart and when you pray on the road or at work, God listens. A sense of peace echoing in the rocks that brings people here from all over the world. Because a lot of uh, tourists come to see it and um, they they be amazing because all this is... Um, is uh, a good thing. It's beyond imagination. I don't think, I don't think you can even describe it. It's it's beyond description. Um, it's just overwhelming. To be at the top of a mountain is certainly closer to God, but um, it inspires me to think that people did that. The intricate sounds calling the monks out of solitude and into the church to worship. The inside of the church is covered in hand-painted icons revealing stories of Christ and saints. Hagia Triada, or Holy Trinity, is one of only six monasteries that survived over time, a place Father Ioani calls home, and hopes fills the hearts and souls of all those who come to witness its beauty. For Beyond the Olympic Flame, at the Meteora, I'm Marianthi Bombares.